So this is Tom Bernacki and today I am with Jonathan from Park Home Care. And today we're gonna to be asking the question, we'll get right to it. Does home health care cover dementia services? What do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it can at times be a loaded question, but it's also a simple question. Yes, it does cover it, but it really comes down to your therapist, your PT, your OT, your speech therapist really honing in on the skills because dementia care does require a different set of skills um, when treating. So honing in on how we're going to provide care because ultimately we want to provide skilled care and the care may not just be for the patient but for the family members themselves. So although there uh, may be less opportunity for carryover with somebody you know, who has dementia, there are so many things that in particular an OT and a speech therapist can do in regards to memory care or creating systems in place where that can help them. Again, we're looking for as much independence in the home as possible. So whatever level that is for a client, that's what you wanna to try to capture. How independent we can keep that client so that they do live out their lives with dignity and as functional as possible. So yeah. it is possible, but you know, um, it does require some Require some creative. In order for insurance to pay for home health care and dementia care, you need a few criteria. You need to be homebound and you need to be seeing a doctor who can write your prescription and certify your care. And you must be homebound. Now, homebound means a couple different things, but generally you should have a very difficult or complex time getting to your doctor's office. So what that means is mobility issues, making it very difficult to transport because, hey, we can all call an ambulance and if six people are helping us, everybody could probably get there, but it's not practical. So Medicare covers intermittent skilled nursing. This means maybe one, two, or three visits in short visits per week. It covers physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech language pathology, social services, an aid to come and help once or twice a week and maybe durable medical equipment this does not mean somebody's coming for four hours to sit with you or for eight hours that is something called senior care or private duty care this is generally private pair pay so this would be a service like assisting hands home care which i'd link down below but these are great services where you necessarily don't need to follow all these pre-qualifications because the goal of skilled nursing is for very short chunks of time it's not for 24 hour care it's not for eight hour care it's not even for four hour care while you need to take a break to go to the store or go run some errands while your loved one needs care this would be more of a private duty care so that's where the two health care and home care services differ although the names are pretty much the same consider that private duty home care that covers that type of care and services yeah and kind of to summarize what we're talking about is there's two types of home care there's jonathan's company park home care which is skilled home care these are services that are covered a few times per week by medicare and by private insurance so there's always some variations but these are services like yeah so I mean, go ahead yeah you know, list them off they, they provide so we provide skilled nursing services provide physical, occupational, and speech therapy. We offer medical social work as well as dietitians and home health aides. Yeah, and I know talking with Jonathan too, uh, his company can even get a visiting physician out to your house if you're homebound, or you can get a prescription written by your own personal physician or whoever you've seen. So yeah, a lot of the times too, I know as a podiatrist myself, seeing patients with dementia, I don't specifically write for patients with dementia, but they can have problems like back pain, tough time moving around, they need a walker, they could use physical therapy. So it's not just the mental issues, but the overall health issues that can be helped. There's a second type of home care, which is private duty. Now this is cash based. So where this differs is they're both called home care, but this is like when you need eight hours of care or what's called respite care. So this means like if you're taking care of your parents or you're taking care of your loved ones, if they um, are very overwhelming and you have to go to work, you have to go to meetings, you have to get them to a doctor's appointment, a private caregiver can come and spend time with them to give you a break or take them for a walk or do a puzzle with them or take them out to the grocery store or for lunch. These are the services that are more cash-based. And then Jonathan's company 
Park Home Care, which by the way is down in the show notes if you're in the Metro Detroit area, covers those skilled services, like those skilled providers, like physical therapists, mm -hmm. occupational therapists. So that's a great, uh, great, great service. So if you're in the Metro Detroit area, click below for skilled nursing care, private duty home care, or podiatry care out to your house. Thank you. Generally, the traditional care that people seek for dementia is something called private duty home care. So this is paying for an actual caregiver to provide non-medical services. So that means like cooking meals, shopping, cleaning, and laundry, custodial care like bathing, dressing your loved one, make medication reminders and driving them to their doctor's appointments as an example. So this would be a private duty caregiver, somebody who actually stays at the house and helps out for preset periods of time and there's a negotiated rate. Assisting Hands Home Care provides this type of service. This is not Medicare covered services and that can provide you with rides and other services. Medicare services are more, you know, one or two quick visits per week. Assisting Hands Home Care provides what's called private duty home care. So click the links below or the ones that pop up here to learn more about those services. To listen to our complete home care guide, click on one of these videos and subscribe if you want to know more about elder care and our guides on how to take care of your loved ones. Thanks for watching.